Hi everybody. The last time you saw my brand new John Deere X350 here, it was well below zero and the snow was falling. But now the temperatures have turned and it is grass cutting season and I expect a lot from this little tractor. So in this video, I'll tell you what it was like blowing a winter's worth of snow off my driveway. Then we'll go over the changeover process from snow blower to grass cutter. I just completed it yesterday. And then finally, we'll get out here and cut some of my lawn. And I will tell you the features on this X350 that I absolutely love and a few features I really feel like I missed out on. Let's jump right into it. First, a quick refresher on the machine and why I bought it. So this is a 2019 John Deere X350. It's powered by an 18 and a half horsepower Kawasaki engine, and it uses a hydrostatic transmission. Now, we do not have four wheel drive here, and we do not have a locking differential either. So it's just rear wheel drive with essentially an open diff. Now the 300 series John Deere's, they're already two steps up the chain. And once you step into the 300 series, the tractors get a little bigger, the components get beefier, the frame gets beefier. Uh, it feels like more of a full size lawn tractor. And if you're just cutting grass, that might not matter. But because we were doing so much snow blowing, I definitely wanted something that was going to be a bit bigger, a bit heavier to handle all of that snow duty. Now we also went for the X350 because it can house the 48 inch mower deck. And I like the idea of the wider deck because it'll just take less time to cut all of this grass. Now some of the features we didn't go for, we didn't get power steering, we didn't get four wheel steering, and we didn't get a rear locking differential. And uh, some of them I'm a little bit sad about, but we'll get back to that in a little bit. Right now, why don't we go cut some grass? show you now what it takes to take off this snow blower and put on that lawn deck. Now I would say that this first time uh, the switch over took me about an hour and a half probably in total. Um, the first thing you have to do is actually just take off the snow blower and it's just two spring loaded pins. Now we took off our blower and I actually put it in my storage shed next to my snowmobile. The one thing John Deere recommends, this just makes sense, you want to get it up off the ground so we put it up on wooden blocks to make sure that it wasn't going to be you know just sitting in the dirt. Now next, two easy steps. You got to take the wheel chains off. The chains uh, just have these little hooks that you kind of just push together and then flip. They come right off, really simple. And then the weights on the rear end. Uh, for the winter time, you have to put weights on the back of the tractor to counteract all the weight of the blower up here on the front. And those weights just lift right off. There's nothing holding them in at all. The trickiest part of this switchover was getting off these big steel brackets. Uh, you have to get down underneath and sort of find all these little small pins. So it took some time, but once again, it's not that hard. Now, putting the lawnmower deck on, honestly, much easier than I expected. There really aren't a lot of steps. There's two spring-loaded pins in the back, and then you need to put on this front track bar down here to hold it flat, uh, and that's almost it. Now, you also need to make sure that it's level, and John Deere does give you instructions on how to level your deck. So we did that as well to make sure it's going to cut nice and evenly and flat. And then you also need to adjust your uh, torsion spring. So on the pedal over there to lift up the snow blower and to lift up that deck, you actually have a spring which is helping you, a spring assist. Now when you're lifting the blower up here, you need a lot of spring assist. But when you're lifting just this deck, you do not need nearly as much. So you need to adjust that as well. There's an adjustment uh, bolt right up here on the front you twist that and then down the side you can see it here there's actually little markers it'll tell you uh, where the marker should line up based on which implement you are fitting onto the tractor and everything in this process was pretty much that simple fairly well labeled the one thing I thought was weird is John Deere uh, they didn't tell you to turn the wheels on the actual mower deck sideways so that you could push the whole mower deck underneath I kind of just figured that one out on my own. It seems obvious that you would do that, but it wasn't in the instruction. So that's one weird instruction there, John Deere, that you missed. Um, but besides that, it was fairly simple to get this thing on here. And so far it's been working seamlessly out here, cutting the lawn. All right, everybody, time to cut. Now starting off this tractor is really easy as can be. Foot on the brake. You have to make sure the mower is turned off. And off we go. Now 
Now one of my favorite things about this tractor, and most lawn tractors have it, is the hydrostatic transmission. Um, it just makes things so simple because there's no shifting here. You jump on, you have a pedal for forward and a pedal for reverse. It couldn't be any simpler than that. The beauty of the hydrostatic is that you can go from a standstill to full speed with no shifts. You just use your foot. The more you press down, the faster you go. Uh, it, it really just makes things so simple when you hop on and you want to cut. And then quickly, foot off, reverse, and you're moving backwards nothing you have to move with your hands at all the next feature i want to mention which is really great here on my big long lawn is cruise control i have a cruise control button down here on my right i hit it down i lift my foot off the gas and it's actually a physical connection that cruise control button physically limits that gas pedal and holds it down and now my foot's off and i'm just able to cruise and for someone again like me with a big lawn lots of driving to be done uh, cruise control is going to be really, really a nice feature to have for sure. Now there's a couple other features I want to mention. First of all, we did not go for the four-wheel steering, and that's mostly because we don't have too, too many obstacles to work around. This tractor turns extremely sharp without the four-wheel steering, and I don't miss the power steering either. It's really a light steering wheel. It's geared nicely. Uh, those are two features that if you have a lot of obstacles to cut around, probably worth it. But if you're like me and you have mostly a straight flat lawn, I wouldn't bother with the four wheel steer or with the power steering. We didn't and I couldn't be happier. Let's talk a little bit more about winter and how this X350 worked as a snow blower. Now, first of all, I have to say we stored this thing inside the garage. So even at the coldest of temperatures, it never had an issue starting. It does love the choke. That's even on warm days. You have to choke this engine to get it going. But in terms of reliability and starting, we had no issues. We only have 10 hours on it. We put 10 hours on it this winter. So it's still basically brand new, but still I can report we've had no reliability issues to speak of. Now with that, snowblower um, honestly we could not overwhelm this tractor i actually had snow drifts on my driveway taller than that snowblower and it would just eat right into them you'd have to definitely slow down you know depending how much snow there is and how heavy the snow is that dictates your speed some of that really wet heavy snow you have to go really slow and just take gradual bites out of it lighter snow you can move quicker but we never got anything that this snowblower could not deal with I was sort of worried that maybe the tractor wouldn't be big enough for the snow, but that did not prove to be a problem. There was one feature though that the winter highlighted that I wish I had, and that is a locking rear differential. Out here in the summertime on my flat lawn, I do not need that locker, it really doesn't matter. So we didn't get it, but in the winter time, having a John Deere model with the locker in the rear end is just gonna make sure you're gonna have the best traction in all situations. And when you really are up against heavy snow, you do need that traction. A locker really would have come in handy this winter. The chains do just okay on the tires, but you can still definitely slip them. So if you are thinking about moving a lot of snow, I would recommend a model with a locker. Uh, I do absolutely love that the seat is adjustable. Uh, we have myself and my father-in-law who use this tractor a lot and we're very different heights. So without the adjustable seat, that would be a big issue. But one issue with the seat, I do wish this back support came up a little bit taller. After a couple hours, because that's what it takes to do this whole lawn, after a couple hours, uh, I find myself slouching a bit. I just wish I had something to keep me a little straighter, a little more back support would be nice. But this is spring loaded, so it does offer you a little bit of suspension and the actual seat comes Comfort is pretty dang good. So you know what guys, I really don't have any complaints about this thing as a grass cutter at all. Really it's that locking differential that I missed out on in the winter time, but uh, considering I would have had to jump up to a larger, more expensive model just to get that locker, overall, I gotta say I'm pleased with this X350. Well, everybody, after six months of ownership, I have to tell you that I'm happy with my X350. It's done everything I've asked it to do and it's been totally reliable. Now I'm about to put a summer's worth of grass cutting onto it. So at the end of this summer, I'll definitely do another update and let you know how she's running. But for now, I have to tell you that if you're looking for a machine for four seasons, this X350 can totally deliver. So guys, that's it for this one. Make sure you go below, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this X350 
650. And then while you're down there, hit like and hit subscribe. And of course, come right back to the channel for the latest news views and real world reviews. Now, if you'll excuse me, lots more grass needs cut. Let's go, John Deere. See ya.